<laughs> just for the sake of the piece, could I just get you all to say your name and what you do in the band, just one by one? I'm Daryl, I play drums. Uh, I'm Andrew, I play guitar and sing. And I'm Adam, and I play bass. Alright, well, uh, this is Phil Weller for Get Your Rock Out. I'm here in the Media Centre with Arcane Roots. And um, just for anyone who hasn't heard of you, how would you describe yourselves? Um, three lovely lads. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> good sense of humour. Uh, no, um, yeah, if you like rock music and you're like, yeah, I love rock music, it's good. But sometimes, or metal, or other rock orientated <laughs> music, and then you're like, oh. I wish they had some other nice melody bits in it. But you like pop and you're like, God, I wish it had some balls. balls. Um, and then you like metal and you're like, I love the rhythms, but he's just screaming all the time. Uh, and, but you and want then, to tell your mum about it. And you want to yeah. tell your mum about it and she's like, oh, you've got such a lovely voice, why do you scream? Yeah. Uh, and then you like guitars and you're like, oh, I hope they all write their own songs and like can play their instruments and stuff and they really care that so music that you can take home to meet your mother uh, you no take, well sometimes one know, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah some, some I've ones. seen some metal mums yeah. yeah. who who might not even like it yeah. might be too light for them yeah maybe but it's just all the things it's just like it's just you know what bad day I want to write a heavy song just heard the new Sugar album I want to write a Song. Is it a case of anything goes then in terms of writing within the band? Uh, well, not yeah, just 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 not to shy away from from uh, from inspiration. You know, you, you, sometimes I just come up with a nice melody in the shower or something, or I mean, a place, and I have to whisper it into my iPhone. Uh, sometimes I just come up with something that's really fun on the guitar. Sometimes I hear something, I'm like, that would be cool. Sometimes I catch a live band that I've never heard of before, and I'm like, that's awesome. I really like that. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a song that you did a backflip in or something? And then I'm like, all right, wicked, you know, let's do that. So, but not, you know, at the same time with harsh scrutiny and kind of self awareness as, you know, it doesn't go from Trying metal to, to reggae. That down yeah, into yeah. something palatable. So it all kind of sounds like us, but yeah, we don't try and put too many borders up or write ourselves into a corner because. It can get pretty nasty if you build, start expecting specific things out of you. And yeah. then they start hating your new stuff. So we decided not to have new or old stuff. It's just, yeah. just, stop it's just pull the rug stuff. out from under their yeah. feet. I think we've, does, we've done that well to train our fans. I think but it's just to deal, you know, just deal with it. I think some bands <laughs> can sort of get stuck in a niche where like, yeah. they have the sound and stuff, but then if they decide to, to broaden the horizon, like as a musician myself, you know, and I'm always wanting to, to grow and improve. Absolutely. And with that, you, you might want to go on... I don't know, you want longer songs or like throw some cello in there for a laugh or whatever. And so some bands see when they have a niche and they want to progress and change people to play. Yeah, the niche. Yeah, if, yeah, you yeah, start, like it. if you never have a niche to start with, it's... You know, YouTube comments for days. Yeah, that's, absolutely. But that's, you know, that's the thing. Yeah, it's just... You know, if you did... Yeah, did that kind of stuff, like... You know, we could we used to do half hour songs and loads of fiddly guitar things and whatever and the real the real excitement is to make something that sounds really simple but it's actually really hard you know and that for us is when we have the biggest grins on our faces because people don't realize that it's really hard and then that means you've won because on one level you're people who don't aren't you know, listening out for that kind of thing, and they're like, "Oh, that's a nice melody. Oh, I, I like that rhythm, or whatever." But there's other people like, that's better. you know, and that's that's that. You know, like we, we kind of quickly learn that like hiding our influences and and, and the, the music that we're into, or coming up with something that's you know really difficult on the guitar or whatever. But it it's still simple and it's still it's still palatable. It's still you know it doesn't kick you off the ride. You, you know, you can groove to it and and. You know, it can work on that those two levels that you know you, you can fall into that obscurity and just no real reason for anything. You know, and, and you know the parts just sound contrived and, and you know I, I'm like we, we we're pretty hard on ourselves when it comes to what gets through and, and you know especially you know with the new material we've been doing we've just been trying to be like let's just keep breaking it down like no literally no bullshit you know just and just trying to make the best most concise but most intelligent parts we can make, you know, for, for, one, for one section, but not necessarily sh 
shredding on a chopstick. Um, are, are you guys here all weekend then? You were saying you were at the prog stage last night. I mean, have I you... More actually. We were here, yeah. we were here yesterday right. and we're going to be here tomorrow morning. Have you had a chance to, to soak up any of the other bands? Or We wanted to see Dr. Feelgood. Yeah, that would be great. We wanted to see Physics House Band. Yeah, they were good. We wanted to see Chimps Band. We've missed them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was my first introduction to Physics House Band yesterday. Yeah, they're incredible. Yeah, really, really good band. Yeah. Play with them at Thousand Trees? No, no, it was it's, just the, yeah. it's their side one. Yeah. Uh, Tangent stage, Park Tangent. Right, yeah, no, that was awesome. It was like I liked watching the audience for that one because yeah. no one quite because everyone died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they're great band. They've, they've like from literally from that moment too. They've done so yeah, big. I think everyone was like, "Yeah, I've heard a good band." So they're doing that thing really well. Yeah, really, really well. They've got multitasking now to a team. Yeah, big time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they, the name is so right. <laughs> it's perfect. For them. So yeah, Tim Spano, big big fan. Uh, but yeah, I think we got here too late. They were yesterday, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Yeah, we missed we missed all the fun. And then yeah, we, we I think well we got here at like midnight. So but we missed uh, Doctor Phil last night, which I was a bit sad about. Uh, uh, I don't even I don't think uh, fish love hate we there today. I think I don't I, can't, I don't think I know anyone else. Oh, I don't. But. I'm sure it'd be good. But the nice thing about this, we just say what a nice festival is. You can just, it's just really relaxed. There's no like rock festival hype. It's quite chilled. Everyone has a caravan. You know, like, it's just fine. You know, everyone has, everyone has a shower. Do you want a coffee? Yeah. You know, like, I think it's just going to be nice. There's yeah, it's good. It's, it's more like real... music, like proper music fans. You know, everyone here is here because of the music rather than the scene or the, 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 the day out or to get wasted it seems like people just want to yeah, see we're like no bands. fight or fevery here other yeah. than caravans apart from a caravan yeah, yeah. yeah. which is quite an and amazing yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. steal it's great thing to steal <laughs> some people can't give them away <laughs> <laughs> um, so in terms of progressive music then this is a prog festival mm-hmm. um, so what were your first experiences of prog music that's kind of exactly where we started yeah like we've kind of distilled it we still look quite proggy as yeah we, it's kind of had to get out it's like my my uh, more or less everything I listen to my dad would always say go upstairs listen to that vi-. he doesn't speak like that uh, <laughs> listen to that vinyl Funny, yeah yeah, yeah alright listen to that vi- I don't know why listen to that vinyl upstairs <laughs> go through it and then you know as I let it win for Pink Floyd animals you know um, King Crimson and, and whatever and so like from there like those were the my immediate influences I wasn't into any kind of um, rock music particularly at the time those that you know listen to what your dad listened to that's what I did so um, so yeah so like when we first started that was kind of where things are I hadn't heard of I was not into any kind of metal or anything but that, that, that was where my you know those Van de Graaff generator and stuff like that and then it turns out a lot of people actually got into more modern artists those were their, their influences as well so I used to go back and, and listen to people they mentioned in interviews and listen to their music and uh, so yeah so like um, for me like that was where we started and the band we had like we had about three different prog bands oh we? absolutely with the most progish names there ever was and uh, Blank Blank Avant uh, and and Sui Genera uh, which all belong here uh, so yeah we did that for a while but after a while, we, we were like, we've done that, we've done, we've done these really long songs, there's loads of really fiddly bits in it, and, you know, ring modulators. So, um, but yeah, we, you know, since then we've we kind of tried to take those influences and, and kind of distill them into, into uh, this, and we still have really long songs. Uh, <laughs> All these prog influences are part of it, you know, same with our electronic influences from when we were growing up and you know, listening to jazz, we try and distill all of that into the, the music we have now, so it's great because it means we can play a prog festival and you know, people can kind of listen to it and go, okay, like, that's, that's cool, like, there's elements of it that, that appeal to people and we can play a metal festival and like, we can still get away with it, which is incredible, and we play like folk festival and it's fine, so we, we kind of try to bring all those things that we love about music and not really subgenres and niches and try and put them into it. It's fun to put a different hat on as well. That's the, the, the nice thing is like there's really heavy bits of our music and really light bits of our music, really poppy bits, and um, you know, really kind of out there bits or whatever. Like, and so it's kind of nice that we just change the set and then we can play at a different lineup or a different festival. And it's, it's nice, even we change the way we play the songs, just it's, you know, like it's like, oh, we, we're not 
you know, we're playing the heavy set today, or whatever, you know, like, so today we're going to play the prog set. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, I've always seen this prog as just generally making things more interesting, you know, and, like, no different than with our album, we wanted to make it where you could, you could dip in and out of it, and, you know, even the production, when it needed to be loud, was really loud, but at the same time, the things that really excite me is hiding in those microseconds of, of different layers of guitars and, and, and polyphony and stuff and, and just little things under there that change with every single verse, every single chorus. Every song is linked to the next song. There's a drone that goes throughout the entire album and like we made it like a variety of different ways and that modulates into each song. But at the same time, you can go track one, two, three, you know, and it's like, there's the track, there it is. If you don't care about that stuff, it still sounds cool. We tried to make it, it a final bit. One, I think there's a, there is a, a, often a misconception that prog songs have to be long. I mean, Absolutely. I'm a, I'm a massive Mastodon fan. And but, yeah. the, the latest, the, the Hunter album is, it's, they're all prog songs, but yeah. they're all in sizable chunks. You yeah. know, the, the two, yeah. three, well, yeah. four or five minutes, some of them, but Absolutely. yeah, they're, they're small. They're still musically, they're very progressive, yeah. they're crazy time signatures and stuff, but... Um, but going back to your band name, my band's currently looking for a name, and it's, it's very difficult. We were arguing over it all the time. And I've got some names. So, I've got a list of some names. Oh, how yeah, oh, right, right, yes. Yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. We've been doing this for a I long, time. I love the long amount time. of suggestions that I've had off bands. What's the best one you've got to look yeah. for? Well, we're currently called Close Enough for Jazz. That's a working title. Okay, That's yeah, quite yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah. That was just... We were tuning up. It's, and the other guitarist went, big, that's close enough. This is a jazz. list of ones. You can have any one of these if you want. A lot of them are pop punk ones. Mm. I quite like Think Yourself Dead. That's a family favourite. Uh, Stack, every Stack every time tie dye, I always like yeah. shit's good. Shit gate is pretty good. Two day headache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the is pretty horrible. Was there a, was there a, a sort of concerns a, a theme going on here? Two day headache. Two four. I think they're probably on the same billing. A lot of these actually yeah. are real bands from Italy. <laughs> from Italy. We oh, that, horses yeah. is good with yeah. a W H. Oh, like and and Quaria <laughs> is a rock based <laughs> yeah. prog band. If you like that sort of industrial uh, look. And horse. And That's horse is nice. Kick the pregnant. My mum's band is better. The stay-at-home Nazis is quite Bore good. Dumb. I mean, like, <laughs> Bore dumb. You call that a scar? <laughs> yeah, so you can have any of them. 